guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution and I'm here to bring you a message for the time of Aquarius. So while the sun is in Aquarius, guys, um, this is just a random message from Spirit. I've been really called to do this for the past few days and I'm finally getting to it. So guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for being here and if at the end you feel this may be for you, hey, take a chance, hit subscribe, join the journey with me. And for all my subscribers, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being here. It means the world to me that you are. So know that this is a general message. It may fit your situation, it may not, but take what you feel on a soul level resonates, you're going to know, and if it doesn't, if you're not sure, toss it, disregard it, go about your day. If it's meant to resonate with you at a later date, you may, you may cross your mind, but that's, that's what this was talking about, but we could be picking up on a situation from the past, past life, something you're going through now, or something that's starting to trickle into your energy field, but know the time is fluid, energy is also fluid, and this energy that we're picking up, it's not necessarily set in stone. You can still use your active free will, your grassroots evolution, and change whatever outcomes these are, okay? So however you want to move forward in your world, you have the power to take those steps forward and make choices and changes in your life. So I'm going to take a moment just to ask Archangel Michael to jump in to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself this reading and any of you guys who would ask for it. And just know if you are calling in your angels and guides, ask that they're here for your highest good and delivering messages in the clearest way possible. So I am also going to do the same and ask to be used as the clearest channel and delivering messages only for the highest good of anyone watching. We're going to start off with the Nicoletta Sicoli or Cecily Tarot. I'm going to put my selenite down and just ask for an overarching energy to be aware of for Aquarius season. Do you believe it started on January 19th um, so I'm a few days into Aquarius season I like to wait just to get a real idea of what's going on with the energy so let's see what we have here thank you and when I was shuffling pre shuffling the knave of wands came out first this is at the bottom like the last one but remembering however you choose to move forward you have the power to do that the book in this little one discusses manifesting, just starting to learn how to manifest, starting to make the garden grow. If you look at her in her bushy foliage she's wearing, there's a lot of green on here, but she started to blossom, she started to flourish. And there's where it's like her eyes are closed and focus. Whatever we focus on, whatever we focus our drive, our life force, our energy force on, those are the things that, that we allow to grow and allow to flourish. I'm going to start at the first card then. Here is the Six of Wands. And this is victory and success. And um, in this card, although she has success, she doesn't look very happy. But I feel like this is don't, don't, um, once, okay, how do I put this? Sometimes once we meet success, it's like, well, what do we do now? I've been working towards this and now I have this. What do I do? Keeping your head up as you move forward with passion. And sometimes this will be moving on to the next endeavor. That you've got balance. You've won success at this. Now what's the next thing for me to go on? Under that was the fool. Making jumps. Making calculated jumps as well. But one of the things while I was getting ready to hear this, I heard it's time to step into your place. It's time to take your place. It's time to own your place. But whatever position in the universe that was meant for you at this time, it's time to step into this. It's time to harness that energy. Okay? It's time to see here that we're moving. This is moving past any internal struggle towards moving after what you want. And this is also universal energy saying, go for it. Make those jumps. Make those leaps. You have the Nine of Wands here, and it is in the reverse with the Queen of Wands as well. So, like I was saying with this one, with the Six of Wands, it's about leaving the struggles behind. That Five of Wands, that internal struggle of not being able to push forward, it's time to leave that behind. This is often a nightmare, right? The Nine of Wands is this wounded warrior. We're getting out of the warrior, wounded warrior phase, getting out of the difficulties and moving past um, feelings of constant sorrow is one of the things I've heard here as well, but that danger is so close you don't even see it because it's camouflaged. Removing those blinders as well as I heard the word layers. One, two of the other ones that were here is just as we have, we have the death card, and in this one I love it because it is snow white. 
with her little apple here and the seven dwarves around her that potentially whatever poison could have been with the nightmare stage, the self-imposed or hurdles trying to get over um, towards our goals, that's taking an ending. And this could be you going, I can't believe I swallowed that stuff. It's time for me to purge it, take a good sleep, sleep it off. But either way, I feel like this is you taking an active approach into your transformation. Saying, you know, all of these things have blocked me. All of these things have blocked my creative expression. They've blocked me from going in the avenues and the ways that I've wanted to. And it's time to put that down. Throw away those poison apples. Get rid of them. Because what I heard is it's no longer your doctrine. Whatever food or apple that has been poisoned, whatever has been trying to be sold to you as truth, I feel like this is the time you're going, no, that's not my truth. My truth is... I'm a self-made entrepreneur. I like to go after my dreams. I'm full of life. And I manifest the life that I'm proud of. Manifest the life that I see myself growing in and flourishing in. So one of the things I feel like here is that the, the Hierophant was in the reverse. Sometimes when we talk about the Hierophant in reverse, I'm actually going to use this book is what they're saying. Um, it could be that some of the stuff that's ending now is the spiritual truths that this apple could represent, potentially as well, that put you to sleep, that have had you sleeping. It's time to say, no, 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 no. It's time to see those for what they were. It's time to move past them as well. And this queen of wands, this could be, you know, fire. You could have fire in your chart. You could be this queen of wands. But this is a passionate, passionate person who is very, very creative. One of the things I heard as well is destructive because just as much as our passion can create, we can destroy as well. It's up to us how we use it, how we harness it. So, um, they want me though to read here the Hierophant in Reverse out of the, this is the Chakra Wisdom Oracle, or Tarot, but they want me to read that, so, the Hierophant. Um, so in this particular deck, but this could be the same thing, and sometimes these kind of go a little hand in hand with the Queen of Wands as well, if there's been a person in your life as well, um, who's given this poison apple, or it could even just be, you know, societal norms in general, um, but we get wickedness, rebellion, immortality, faithlessness, invalidation, cold manipulation. Wow. If there is somebody, much like this, this queen of wands can also be manipulating as well. There's sweetness, it's, there's drive, there's passion, there's warmth. But much like they can be creative, there's also this destructive tendency, which sometimes we do. We we burn our bridges. We set ourselves ablaze. We burn down everything we've been working for, metaphorically, because something here with our doctrine wasn't right. So if there's been a situation around you where there's been um, a lack of faith, if there's been a person around you causing havoc or causing trouble that if this has been a person it could be a job it could be a situation but whatever has kept you here in this nightmare nine of wands kind of um apathy as well because knowing well you've been here so long what's the point of getting out what i heard is also struggling to get out it's really time here just to own your power, I feel like, and move past that stuff to know that you can do this victoriously. Have a plan set into motion on how you want to accomplish this and make the jumps. So I'm going to bring in the Chakra Tarot right now, the Chakra Wisdom Tarot, and ask for some clarification on this, please. Thank you. Actually, they want the top two. So let's see what the top is and two flew. Three of Swords, which is, if you can see this, heartbreak. Three Swords into the heart. Why I'm also drawn to this is that heart, it's yellow. This is our solar plexus. Internalized heartbreak. Internalized feelings of worth, unworthiness, faithlessness as well as in here and feeling we're not worthy of the things that we so truly desire. As well as, um, this has been a really, really owned truth. The three of wands here as well as yellow. And I love the threes. This is about 
being connected, divinity, holy trinity, right? Father, mother, holy ghost, or father, I'm sorry on that. It's, it's like blank all of a sudden. But it is, it's like, you know, earth, moon, sun, there's, there's something important to that and I'm drawing a blank. But I also have the death card here twice. And this is purple. And I feel like this is, you could be called call in, universal violet light. But I feel like this is universally a time for staying in your divinity.